What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails. <laughs> I almost said Trails. Uh, Legend of Neuda Boundless Trails. Uh, last time we were continuing onward in the Verdant Grove while also handling some side jobs along the way. Uh, we were able to unlock a new power, or I guess recover a power uh, for Noi. Also kind of learned that some of these stages aren't going to be 100% completable until you get certain powers, it seems, to get past stuff. So uh, for now, uh, we're just going to keep going. Oh, hello. Well, these things we fought. That's another level up. Nice. That's helpful. See, now that we're fighting a bunch of stuff, we're actually starting to get some levels. So I assume you gotta get past from the upper area. Well, may as well see what's down here. Oh no, you get past this way. Okay. What was the point of that though? go this way. Oh god, there's a ton of them. That's the oh here it is. This has gotta be it. There it is, the eternal rose. It's beautiful, but are you planning on taking it home with you? Yeah, someone I know is looking for it. But maybe I shouldn't take one without permission. I think there is still a lot more of them out there in the back. So just one should be fine. Thanks, Noi. But what are you going to use it for? It's a gift for someone. I'll have to remember to take it to Uncle Sculp later. Nope. All right, this just starts a battle. It's what you get for standing in my way. All right, let's keep moving. Oh god. Wait, what? I actually didn't mean to... Oh, well, that actually works out for me. Oh! Fairy Cloth. So it is something for Noi. Okay. Oh, that's cute! You get a little costume for her as well. That's adorable. Oh! 
Oh, yeah. I don't know why I haven't started off uh, talking about this. So, uh, as funny, obviously, like I mentioned, that this specific video probably isn't going to be coming out to like March 2024 sometime. But uh, earlier today, they finally did the reveal for the first of the Calvert games. Uh, and it's going to be coming to the West in 2024. Summer 2024, to be exact. Uh, which does mean that, um, obviously, once these videos come, well, once the Neyuda playthrough is completely done, it's only going to be, like, maybe two, maybe three months before, uh, the first of the Calvert games, which is going to be Trails Through Daybreak, uh, originally known as Kuro no Kiseki, uh, will be out here in the West, so that's pretty cool. So, it won't be long of a wait if you're following this whole series before we start on the first Calvert game. Now, of course, after the first Calvert game is going to be quite a bit of a wait, uh, because the second Calvert game will probably at least be a year later. Looks like the path is clear now. We're finally at the back end. What's waiting up ahead, Noi? The Temple of Altapia. Temple? Uh, so it's kind of hard to explain, but basically it oversees the whole continent. The administrator might be able to tell us where Zex is. You said you're the administrator of the garden, right? So basically there's something like you for this place as well? Hold on a second, we're talking about managing continents? That's not exactly the kind of scale my brain operates on. What was that? Hello? Who was that? A voice? Don't tell me it's a friend of Zex. No, that voice was... Is that you, Noi? I knew it, it's Gyo's voice. Where are you, Gyo? Well, I'll be the stars of Gaia Me Rescue. This way, over here. In there? Is he inside that thing? I've been wondering, but what exactly is that, Noi? I don't know, I didn't even know it existed. It's totally weird. Gyo, are you there? Or Gyo? Yes, right here. It's only been a few decades now, hasn't it? It's good to see you, Noi. You know him? Yep. He's the administrator I mentioned earlier. Lichness Gyo. Oh, I said it's two rather peculiar presences beside you, Noi. Egads, can it be humans? It's okay, Gyo. I've been working with Neyuda and Signa for good reason. Noi summarizes the situation for Gyo. I see. I never thought I'd see the day where a human would come to Terra. And working beside Noi, the infamous hater of humanity, no less. Well, it's more like we forced her to let us help. You don't seem too scared of us, do you? Oh, not particularly. The stars will tell tell you I've heard enough nasty rumors about humans. But seeing as Noi has allowed you to come along with her, I see no reason to be alarmed. Neyuda and Signa, was it? I must say I'm looking forward to working with you. Well, it, how about we get you out of there? <laughs> By the way, Gyo, why are you in there? Based on what you told us earlier, the administrator should be in the temple. Ah, well, that is the rub. You see, just a little while ago, a man named Zex appeared in the temple. Well, he did? Oh, yes, and though I hate to admit it, I was captured without delay. And just to salt, salt my wounds, he put me in this cage. You seem fairly, uh, normal about it. You say cage, but this thing is humongous. His power must be tremendous. How are we going to get Gyo out? Mm, yes, well, this cage does seem to be protected by a barrier that uses the surrounding climate. If we can get the Master Gear back and return the continent to its original climate, it just might work. Sounds like we're all in, we're all in on the Master Gear. Something is definitely on your mind, Noi. Who, me? No. If Zex is heading to the temple, then, that means... If we don't get the Master Gear back soon, there's no telling what horrible things might happen. 
Nayuda and Signa, was it? He said that already. And Noi? Please head to the temple as soon as possible. Alright, leave it to us. Don't worry, we'll be the crap out of Zex guy. Right. Kyo, I promise we'll be back for you. Yes, I'm counting on you. So let's head to the temple right away. Lead the way, Noi. I know, you don't have to tell me. Signa? What's on your mind? Well, guess for now, that's it for the stage. Stage clear. Oh, I didn't get the other crystals. I mean, not a huge deal. Okay, Master Orbis will teach us new sword techniques. I guess we can go back and do that real quick. This music is reminiscent of the music we kind of had in Phantasma. Back in, like, the garden. I wonder if Phantasma was based off of anything from here. Okay, so... So I'm assuming this is going to be the end of, like, the first area. Like, once we finish this, it, we're going to free Gyo, and that'll be the end of the Land of Verdant Groves. So like I said, this game is not, like, super long. It's like a 20-hour game for the most part. Um, so we are probably, like, a quarter of the way through the game already. I mean, how long have we been playing? Only, like, three hours so far. So, yeah, probably, like, a fifth of the way through the game. Uh, okay, so we finished that, so we want to take this to, uh, right. Uh, where is he? I forget. Uh, my brain isn't working. It's over here, right? Hello there, Nayo. Did you find me a good gift? Yeah, I think so. Wow, what a beautiful flower. I've never seen one like this before. It's native to the east and is famous for almost never withering. They call it an eternal rose. According to Sasha, it represents eternal love. What a wonderful thing you brought for little old me, Neyuda. Come here and let your uncle sculpt give you a kiss. Uh, <laughs> no thank you. More importantly, why don't you give it to Auntie Kenny? Right you are. Just so happens Booty is out playing right now, so the timing couldn't be any better. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you so much. Truly, I can't tell you enough what you've done for me. Won't you take this? Jewel tomato. And 100 Mira. Wow, I can really have this? Just think of it as something to show my appreciation. Well, I'll be talking to you later. I guess that's another job done. I got the flower thanks to Tara, but I wonder if it was really okay. I mean, I made what was impossible possible, right? You're right, Jessica. I shouldn't rely on it too much. I'll be careful. Yeah, it's like without being able to transfer worlds, he would have had to find a, uh, a different gift. I guess we can check the... There's no mailbox icon. But I guess the sword icon in the bottom, it just means you have some new training to do with Orbis. Uh, oh, we have 1,200. Uh, yeah, let me buy, uh, hmm. So that's a 10 power upgrade for a weapon. 3, 25, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's just go with the sword for now, so short blade. So now we actually have a real weapon, uh, and not a practice one. All right, let's go do this training next. That power increase will be nice. I'll teach you a new sword technique. Let's get started. You ready to train? Yep, I'm ready. Swirling slash. Press circle after jumping with X to activate. Okay. I did it. Looks like you managed to pick it up. Put that technique technique to good use. Thank you, Master. 
So I'm confused. I thought it said I'm confused. I thought it's Oh, there we go. So you have to like Okay. That's cool. We haven't really encountered many flying enemies yet, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world. I definitely don't want to end the playthrough until we get the kennel for the dog, but obviously I do need to continue upgrading my gear. Okay, so that's it for now, so now we can just continue the main story for the time being. Well, we're back. Almost doubling my attack power is really nice. I'm curious about something, though. Can we break that wall now if we upgraded weapons? Like, how does that work? Or is it going to actually have to be, like, something different? Oh, it looks like there's a new weapon. Well, I guess maybe I spent that money for no reason. Uh, let's go back here real quick. See if we can break it with this weapon. If not, then, of course, we'll have to come back for it. Oh, so her skills can level up as well. So I guess that'll just increase the damage it does and then uh, maybe, like, the amount of times you can use it. I feel like playing this game in high speed mode besides like just traveling is probably a horrible idea. Yeah, I think that was doing 10 damage before it, so now it's doing 14. This isn't a complete waste doing this either, because obviously the next zone wants us to be at level 4. So it's kind of good to do a little bit of grinding. There we go, there's that aerial technique. Yeah, we only had 15 uses before, so what does it go up to now? Okay, 16, so you get one more use per level, I guess. Alright, we'll try again with this wall. Okay, yeah, so we're going to really need a harder weapon to kind of break through that. Either a Noi ability or just a harder weapon. Or maybe we get something when we save Geo. Stage clear. So it looks like there's only three sword skills total you can get. Alright, let's head to the Temple of Altapia.
Here we are. Whoa, that's pretty. So this is the temple. Looks a lot taller than the Tower of Ruins. Hmm, it's too tall to even observe properly. Well, what's that beautiful light rising around it? Mana? You know, Noi? That's star energy. Okay. Star energy? Here we go again, another new word. It's the most important thing in Terra. The temple controls the star energy. And, well, it's not really important right now, so I won't bother you with all its principles and stuff. It's a pretty dense topic, so humans wouldn't understand. So curious. Guess I'll ask again when things settle down. What? An earthquake? Could it be? stopped the star energy that surrounded the temple it's gone Zex he must have forced the temple's emergency function using the master gear it's capable of cutting off the supply of star energy in case something goes wrong but and just what the hell happens when star if the star energy stops I think it could result in a major catastrophe that affects the entire continent more extreme weather activity, more ferocious monsters, and widespread disasters like earthquakes, disease, and more. In the end, it'll be a world of death, unable to sustain life. Great. You mean this beautiful place will... Seems to me this star energy thing is pretty important. So what's the play, Noi? There's only one way to stop it from happening, and that's to get the Master Gear back from Zex. If we can take it back to the garden, we'll be able to stop the catastrophe. That's all I need to know. Zex must have used the altar control unit on the topmost floor. We have to catch him before he gets away. Let's go, Signa. With all three of us together, we... No. What? You heard me. You guys stay here. I'm going alone. What are you talking about? Why all of a sudden? It's not all of a sudden. I've been thinking about it from the start. That Zex guy and the Masked Bastard have skills on a whole nother level. I've crossed swords with them directly, so I know. You guys are no match for them. You just get in my way. No way. Don't worry. I'll definitely get that Master Gear back. Got it, so don't come after me. You know that's not going to happen. What's his deal? Why is he suddenly... Let's go, Noi. We have to go after Signa. Huh? But he said... Sure, his sword skills are top-notch, but he can't go up against this opponent alone. I don't know how to put this, but there's got to be something going on that we don't know about. Signa's not the type to pull this kind of stunt. Something? Like what? I don't know, but either way, I can't let this be. Will you come with me, Noi? That's... We may be no match for Zex. But with you by my side, I think we may have a chance. I need your help to keep going. Okay, then let's go after Signa together. Thanks, Noi. I'm not doing this for you. It was my mission to get the Master Gear back in the first place. I'm not going to back down just because Signa told me to. Well, originally you are. All right, then. Let's get to it. I don't know why that matters. He left the group. It's not like he participates in combat or anything. Oh, God. Dragons. That was extremely unexpected. Oh man, you really gotta be careful not to fall in these holes. I don't even know what'll happen if you do, but I'm not about to test it. Oh, 
Okay, it just leads up to the same place. What was that for? Defeat 200 enemies. All right. That's a new one. I do want to see what's down here. I don't think there's anything. All right. I'm curious. There's something actually up there. Like, can you make that jump? Yeah, there is something up there. Nope. Okay, you just take a bit of damage. Okay, there's gotta be a way to land there then. If you can't just jump up there from here. Probably have to go overhead and then fall down. Yep, okay, I see it. Man, this music is good. I just get so worried about falling. Is that really it? You just step on it and it stays down? Thought for sure it would like go back up, like you have to do it in a certain amount of time. So that's obviously gonna blow me off if I step on that. So, not gonna fall for that. Oh, but we have to... Hmm. Oh, it's like a very light breeze, okay. Never mind. Okay, so you gotta be careful. feels like more puzzles than combat for this game. Like, obviously the combat, you know, feels very much like Old East style. Oh, okay. Wait, why couldn't I go in there? I don't understand. Oh, well. Uh, can I eat food? that I can see anything up here. 
we're still in the first half. There he is. Yo! He beat them here? So, one of those from the other world has seen fit to set foot in Terra. I see, that's what I thought. That's the altar then, is it? And the Master Gear is here too? I heard this continent is in big trouble now that you guys have stopped the star energy. And just what the hell is the point of that? Isn't this your world too? I will say only this. Everything is the will of the stars. What I am trying to accomplish, and why you are here. And just what is that supposed to mean? Why did you come alone? Wouldn't it have been wiser to join forces with Noi and the other human? I came here alone so I can have a real fight with you. What? When I crossed swords with you, I felt something strange. As if everything I'd been through in my life on Remnant Isle didn't matter. It frightened me. And that's when I knew. I would have to face you with the intent to kill you if I wanted to win. I just don't want my little brother to see me fight like that. That's all there is to it. Well, yeah, all he did was swing once and you blocked it. That was pretty much it. I don't know what's going on here, but these guys are cool. Oh, and he just left. Where's he going? ゾンブンにやりようがいい。逃走の果てにお前たちは自らの運命を知ることになるだろう。さて、ノイも時期にここを訪れるだろう。よしくも庭園の管理者。謹んで出迎える準備をしなくてはな。What is her plan though? We should be about halfway now. This really is a lot of work. I hope Cygna's safe. Anyway, we're almost to the top floor. Let's hurry and catch up with Cygna. Right. Divided, uh... Oh, okay, so you can resume from the second half if you decide to leave. Also looks like it fully healed us. Alright, but uh, we're gonna end things off here. Actually, let me get these guys. Okay, you guys are really annoying. Uh, so, we're going to end things off here. And then next time, we'll go ahead and continue trying to catch up with Signa while Signa is having his fight with the masked man. And our uh, cryptic bad guy, Zex, just keeps spouting stuff about destiny and stars and whatnot. So, we'll see what the hell that's about. So, that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.